Hey guys, uh, welcome to this episode on network shaping leaky buckets. Let's dive into this algorithm. All right, so what is network shaping and what is leaky buckets? So I show a very simple picture of um, this network packet buffer, which could be in any of the devices that you might have. It could be a modem that you have or a network switch. And a very simple scenario is you're transmitting packets to a cloud switch or your ISP or um, some device like that. And if you send traffic too fast, then this cloud switch may suffer packet loss. So network traffic is bursty. Sometimes a video or other devices might transmit really fast. And whenever that happens, output traffic is bursty in downstream devices here can lose packets and shaping is really smoothing these packets. So even if you transmitted one kilobytes or one kilobit a second, you might momentarily transmit at a much faster rate. And if you do that, then you suffer from this problem. Now, this article uh, can be found on Wikipedia and uh, it's a very nice article. You can read it here. All right. so. Let's dive briefly into what is um, leaky bucket. And here's a simple demonstration of what is really happening. So our packet buffer is still there. And what I have shown is that we need some other mechanism that starts watching for what is the state of this buffer? How fast or slow is, is it filling up? And the packets coming out of this buffer, what are they doing to the network? So this is a contraption or mechanism that we have devised uh, that is based on the leaky bucket algorithm. Now there's two um, parameters for leaky bucket. There's the bucket size, which is the burst size also, and it is denoted as B in this example. And the egress rate at which this leaky bucket is draining is rate R. That is the rate that you want to shape to. And you could come up with your own. For example, voice could be 64 kilobits per second or much higher. And internet rates could be also set to some rate, let's say a megabits or 10 megabits, etc. And so you set that rate here. Now this, if you realized, is not the same as the packet buffer. This is some sort of a virtual buffer that is used to estimate how much traffic and how much bursty traffic you're gonna put out onto the wire. So in this demonstration, what it's showing is that the uh, packets are coming in to this buffer, and as long as packets come in and out at the same rate, we do not have any fill change in this virtual buffer, and the packets in this packet buffer will just keep going. You will not stall those packets. Now consider an example where the incoming pipe is extremely bursty. In this case, what's happening is that the packets coming in are so fast and the rate going out, which is R said by you, that the buffer starts to fill up. And this is the virtual buffer in which we are measuring this rate. So once it fills up, then this buffer cannot take any more data. And what we do is when this fills up, we stop sending traffic out of the main packet buffer. So the egress rate is R here and it continues to drain, whereas the rate here is determined by this shaper and it only drains when there is space in this virtual buffer, which we call the leaky bucket shaper. Now, once it's filled up, the only thing that happens is that you keep draining this leaky bucket and if it drains enough, it creates this room on the top to take more packets in. And as long as packets can go into this buffer, packets can come out of the main buffer. That's the key thing to understand is that the leaky bucket shaper, as long as this shaper has room in this bucket, which is a bursty bucket, you can send packets out the main buffer. If this leaky bucket shaper has no room remaining here, then you stop sending packets out the main packet buffer. So if it creates some space in this leaky bucket, packets start to flow in and thereby they start to flow out of here and the whole cycle resumes. 
So that's it, guys. This is um, the main leaky bucket algorithm. In summary, please remember that there is an egress rate R and a size of the bucket B. And this is different from the main packet buffer. You emulate this main packet buffer in this leaky bucket, leaky bucket shaper. And you fill this at the rate at which packets are coming in till it fills up to the top. And then you drain it always at rate R. And then you use the feedback from this shaper to control the actual buffer in which packets are flowing in. So hope you guys like this uh, video presentation. And if you did, please hit subscribe on the channel. And I will keep coming up with more videos like this. And uh, until next time, thank you and bye-bye.